Hey guys, welcome to another van build video. Today, we are going to start working on our upper cabinets. Um, in the bed area where our feet will be, I'm going to do a 16 by 16 cabinet. And then over our kitchen counter, uh, we're going to have a 14 inch tall by 12 and three quarters deep. One of the things we're gonna have to figure out is if this will be doable. We're gonna have about a 21 inch counter. Um, and then depending on how I can figure out the face frame and a door, you know, we don't wanna be hitting our forehead on it uh, while we're cooking or doing dishes or whatever it be. I'm gonna work with this first and then see how it fits up in the van. And then we might have to cut this down to 12 inches. So for these cutouts, uh, the first thing I wanna do is take a scribe and uh, try to get the curve of the van. Because the walls are curved, we're not gonna have a perfect square, perfect rectangle. Uh, so I'm going to use this scribe and uh, kinda of see if we can make that cutout and then transfer this onto pieces of plywood. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this front cabinet first. The way this, uh, scribe will work, which is just a, a protractor. I just put some tape on it so that it's not going to scratch up the ceiling. You've got to hold your template as straight as possible uh, because we want a 90 degree angle on the front side of the cabinet. But then you find the biggest gap that you are working with, which is this outside. And then you go ahead and just follow the contour of the ceiling. We got the, top, the ceiling line, which we'll have to cut off, and then this is the curve for the back line. So the nice thing about this template is you can basically line it up as straight as possible. You know, if you cut too much off the back, you can just move it forward a little bit on the stencil. Once we get this cut out, then we can test that it fits up nicely. Uh, then we can go ahead and, uh, you know, cut off more if we have to. We'll go ahead and get the back one done, and then we'll go use an X-Acto knife to cut that off. I'm just going to go ahead and basically follow that line and hope it works out. I just had a couple scrap pieces of, of wood. So there are the two pieces. Let's go ahead and see if they fit. Ooh, way off. Yuck. Back side. I think what I should have done <laughs> was cut the back side first, came back, and then scribe the top, or vice versa. Scribe the top, cut that first, and then went back and scribed the back side. There's that upper cabinet. Or the back cabinet, I mean, and here's the front cabinet. I made marks where the, the uh, actual boards are on the van so that way when I'm making the um, template onto the wood I could make a straight line because this definitely isn't curved. I can make a nice straight line there, nice straight line there um, and that way you know it's not completely curving and I think we'll match that contour a little better. And I gotta start cutting uh, the actual plywood down to fit. Uh, I'm gonna go look over my blueprints, maybe uh, you know, jot some more notes down, and then um, you know, maybe start getting that cut. I got out a piece that will be able to be a backer and two 16 inch by 60 inch uh, pieces. So there we go. This will be a his and her closet, basically. I'm gonna go ahead and make that face frame uh, and try to get that done tonight quick. I ended up buying, these are considered two by ones. They're one and a half inch by three quarters inch. It'll be the one and a half inch face all the way around. Um, so for the bottom and top rails, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those boards together. I put them with clamps together I measured this to 57 inches so that there will be a full 
piece on the back side and that will account for the three inches to fit that 56 or to fit that 60 sorry so yeah we'll go ahead and get this cut and then we'll cut three pieces for the height of the cabinet uh, two being 16 inches and then one taking into account the three boards again so that will be 13 inches uh, to be in the middle of them yeah let's go ahead and get this cut and uh, see if we can start piecing it together so here's the main reason why today has not gone as well as it should we are fostering a puppy so that's luna she's 18 weeks at the moment that face frame that will butt up on the cabinet and then we got the pieces that will sit up behind them and of course I did not take into account <laughs> the uh, bottom of the piece <laughs> morning guys so hold that face frame and the cabinets out as I was saying last night, um, I didn't take one of the measurements into account, uh, so we're gonna have to do some cutting uh, to make everything fit correctly. The first thing, um, so I don't know if you can see, it will need a half inch overlap. And then on this side, it will also need that half inch overlap for the outside piece. But as of right now, there's a half inch sticking out. So we're gonna have to take an inch off of this bottom board to be able to fit. And then for the center board, because this one is sitting up on the top of the, the bottom piece and not down flush with it, I'm going to have to take off that half inch to account for this to make everything flush. So I grabbed that template. I'm gonna just check again to see that it fits all right. It looks still to be a pretty decent 90 degree angle. So I think I can just set it up with the corner of the board. I'm gonna go ahead, get this on our uh, pieces of wood. I'll cut one out, put that up, make sure that it's fitting correctly. If it is, then I will use one as the template for the other two. Where those marks were, I just drew dots, and then I actually took a straight edge to cut them. And fitting it back up to the template, it looks to fit pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this out. Well, there we go, moment of truth. Let's go see if it fits. All right, there we go. Huh. Not bad. I think we can shave off a little bit on the front because I didn't even touch that. Um, of course, I forgot my pencil. All right, so I cut those pieces off fit it in the van again and it seems to fit really really well um, at the front so I'm gonna go ahead and translate that onto the next outside board all right guys I think these are looking pretty decent I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the edges up with the sander that piece that I cut off last night I went ahead and used the circular saw to cut it to match that back piece and then I went and cut it into threes so these will be our backing uh, pieces so this one I'm planning to probably pocket hole it into the bottom of the shelf because that's where our framing runs inside the wall and then for another one basically right where the face frame is. I ended up notching this. I just took a quarter inch off and then I took the half inch off to fit this in the back. <sighs> and like all things, the battery and the drill is done. So I'm gonna get that charged. I might just pack up for the night and we'll see you tomorrow. So we finished with the side pieces, so now let's get on to the bottom of the cabinet. 
Uh, because this one's so big, I didn't want to use the uh, the Craig base jig, so I have this one that connects onto the pieces of wood. Um, it has that 90 degree angle, which you just slide up to the board. You line up the pocket hole with where you want your pocket hole on the side of the board. And then this clamp, it has uh, connector pieces so that you can easily pop it on, pop it off, and uh, you know do it nice and quickly. So I'm gonna find, square it up to the side, lock in my clamp, and that's all secure. And then I'll go ahead and find, I was going to use the B location for where that pocket hole will be. I got that micro bit. You just pop it in and fire away. Remove your clamp and you got your pocket hole. Then you can just go on, throw it on to the next hole, and you're good to go. Moment of truth. So full disclosure, I have never built a cabinet in my life other than like, you know, like a dresser from Ikea or something. So uh, this is all new to me. I'm learning. Um, so hopefully this all works well. I got all the pieces laid out. Um, I think I'm going to start with this back uh, frame. After that, I think I might go on to the sides. Yeah, I think then I'll go on to the sides. And then maybe the base frame. <laughs> and then I'll finish off with this topper piece. And I guess the center, the center piece. <sighs> well, just wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> I got the outside uprights on. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe how uh, how rough this is. <laughs> grass stains on it from falling on the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is exciting. I tell you. So I just set up the clamps so that I can put glue on the back side of the cabinet piece, I guess the front side of the cabinet piece, um, and then tuck in the frame. I want it to be level on top because the, this is the piece that's on the ceiling and so having that level is, will be butt up to the ceiling. And then on the bottom, there'll be a little bit of an overlap, which uh, is kind of nice uh, for underneath the cabinet. Let's get the glue on, we'll get the face frame in, and hopefully call this building portion of the project done. Success. <laughs> Went pretty smoothly. Um, I held it up in the van once um, couldn't get both sides up because it's you know fairly heavy and awkward with all the things that are in the van at the moment I didn't take anything out but uh, I'll have a buddy lift it up there and make sure it's fitting properly in the next couple days if there's any issues if we have to shave anything down or move anything uh, we'll do that then but otherwise it's looking good if uh, all that works all that fits we'll go ahead and slap some paint on it and uh, get it installed all right that's enough today. I hope you enjoyed following along building out this first cabinet. Tune in next week as we build out the second overhead cabinet for the kitchen area. We'll then get both painted and installed in the van. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you have any questions for us, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next week.